Hello and Happy New Year. This is a video for people who use the Zotero application. And I recently discovered that uh, recent versions, and I'm using a beta version, which I think is about six months old, or maybe, I'm not sure. Um, so it might only be the beta versions, but it has a new feature in which you can uh, enable Zotero. I'm clicking it off and oh, I don't want to do that. Um, I could click it off and on at this spot right here. And, um, but if you turn that on, and now you can see a window and I'm just in, you know, Zotero here. And I have, so this is a link. I have a link to a, a PDF of this uh, McCready and, and Geyer um, paper here. And so if I double click, uh, what would normally happen would be that it would open preview or whatever I have for looking at PDFs. But now we'll see what happens. So I just double clicked for some reason I had to do it twice. <laughs> Um, and uh, so it's it's opened now. It's a PDF viewer, and it's opened in um, within Zotero. Okay, so why is this cool? Um, I've highlighted some stuff here, um, just basically to show you. It, it's a good paper, by the way. Um, anyway, I've I've hi highlighted some stuff. So the neat thing is that these highlights are not altering the actual PDF. They're just stored within Zotero. I don't know how somehow. And if you click over on this little thing you doodle, you can see that I made an annotation. So let me just click that away. And um, maybe I'll highlight that part as well. And I don't know, I, I'll, I'll use the same color while you choose red. And now click over here and you can see that there are two things. And similarly, I can uh, add notes and other, you can explore this a little bit. But so the crucial thing is uh, these, changes that I've made are not stored in the PDF, which I really like because then I can, you know, you have a, an assignment for my class maybe in which I get them to look at a PDF. I will have, of course, first made notes on the PDF so that I could ask questions sort of about it. And I wouldn't want them seeing the notes that I had made. And similarly, if you have a paper that you're reading, you might want to take notes, but you might want to send the paper to a colleague without them seeing all your notes like, hey, this is garbage and so forth. Right, that's the end of the video.